here it's Sue from Create for Journals and today we're going to go through the grandparents template and this is in the September pack of the monthly inspiration and journal prompts club and there is a little bit of a new uh, look and feel to the content this month so I'm just going to give you a quick look of what you're actually going to get in this month so you'll see here that we're going to get September calendars. Now what we've changed is you now get Canva templates. We've got the Monday and Sunday start PNG calendars, and then you'll get an undated monthly calendar, which you can sell on Etsy from your website or give away each month. These are really popular. And this way you'll have a new theme for every month of the year. And then we've got the September events and this one we've also created an Excel spreadsheet from popular requests so you can have the events list and then in the spreadsheet if you prefer. And then we've got the September fun words again we've done the PowerPoint version and then we've just got the words in a list in a, a rich text format for you as well. And then we've got the inspiration templates so this month you have International Day of Charity, the Grandparents' Day, National Love Notes Day, Self-Care Awareness Month, and Trucker Appreciation Week. And we also give you a bonus 9-11 related uh, template as well that you can use. And then we get the journal prompts again as Word, as and we've done these in Canva as well. And then you just get them as a list of prompts as well. So these ones will be themed for you. And then we've got the September social media posts. And again, they are both in PowerPoint and in uh, Canva, and you get them for Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. So that's what you have in here. And so let's look at the video training, and I'll give you some ideas of how to use these templates. So the first thing that I like to do is just come to the Home tab and come to Select and get the Selection pane um, showing here for us. And then you can see that displays on the right hand side here. So these are all the different layers. And what's new now, if you haven't used the Selection pane in a little while, the lock boxes are a newer um, inclusion into PowerPoint. And this just allows you to lock an element on the page. So if you want to, um, you know, edit all the text, but you don't want to move the graphic, you can actually lock the graphic on here and then you could just go about changing all of the uh, text in here. So what I like to do first is just go and hide everything. And then this allows you to see how we built this uh, template for you. So, and then go from the bottom up. So we're just going to start to open everything up. So you'll see some graphics appear. This is the text box and any element that you want to uh, edit just click on it here as you can see on the right hand side and then the, the outline box appears here and then you can just come in here and if you want to change fonts you can do that as well so then we've got some more elements for you and then we've got the graphic here so this would be good so say you want to keep this in this position then you hit that lock box and now you can't move it so that's can be very handy especially when you're trying to align things on a page um, without moving something else so I'll just unlock that for now. And then you'll see we've got more text boxes. And we've made these short so that it's easy to move around uh, for you. And again, just to edit it, you've got all the handles here to reposition it, move it, make it larger. And then there's more text. So we've got lots of little text boxes on here. And then we've got a shape that we did with further lines. And you can just see, and this is, just gives you an idea how we built everything and at the same time you know I find it often makes ideas pop into my head of oh I can do this or I can do that with with the template as well so it's a, just a good way to start to see how the template was actually built for you. Now one thing I just want to mention is if when you are trying to edit something here and it doesn't show in the selection pane and you can't move it then it's possible that it can be on a master slide so to get to that you just come up to view and go to slide master and then you'll see if there are any elements on the master slide they will show up in this section like for these ones we don't have that we usually use the master slide for some of the much bigger journals and it just makes it easy to change a background page 
Um, you change it one time in here and then you can apply it to the whole document. But just to give you that tip, if you're looking for something that, and you can't see how to edit it, always check in the master slides and obviously different creators um, use that feature differently. And then let's just look at the next one. So this is just a lined paper again with different uh, outlines. And again, you can see there's just four layers on this one as well. And again, we can just hide things just to see what you have here. You've got the lines and then you've got that and just show everything again. And then the last one here is just um, like a, love, a happy grandparents day card. So again, you can edit all of this. So. So what else could we do with this? So one of the easiest things is going to duplicate this template right here or this slide. So you just hit duplicate slide. And one of the easiest things to do is we could just keep the image there. Let's see where, okay. So we could take the lines out. Now we've got blank paper. Okay, so you could do that. Now, if you wanted to make it different again, we could, uh, yeah. So if you want to, this is the background. So to do the background let's go to design format background and you can see we've got the color there so say you want to change the colors um, you may want to pick something from the image so use the eyedropper and that's maybe we want to take her shirt there so you can um, change the outline to give it a different look so that's one way to do it and then at the bottom here you'll see it says apply to all so we can do that and it's going to change everything if you just saw that now it just changed everything i'll do it again so right here we've got the green we've got the dark uh, the gray the, the darker green and then we've got the teal so if you wanted everything the same color then you click apply to all um so now you can see that just changed but if you want to have the different colors then you just wouldn't hit the apply to all so we can undo that for now and then if we wanted to do the same here we can just pick it up and now because we use the eyedropper under recent colors that color that we just selected is going to be here so now we can change that page as well and then, and then you could just play with some things again just see what the selection panel is all about here you could make this smaller um, let's just have a look so we could make a smaller note up here and then maybe on here, this is going to be, uh, let's insert a shape actually. So insert shape. And if we pick the basic shape, I like the one that has the frame outline. So let's just draw something in here for now. So this could be like a photo frame. frame. So maybe a grandchild could post a picture in here or um, of themselves, of a pet, something like that. So you've got the basic outline here. Now the yellow handle allows you to resize the actual frame part. So if you want a smaller frame, then you just play with that. And then we're going to come to the shape outline and let's, um, let's use the eyedropper. Let's pick up the gray from the hair. So that's the outline from there. So we've still got the blue on the inside. And then you could do the same if you don't really want like that outline color. I just want it all gray or go back to the outline and maybe we'll take uh, this color again for the outline. So you can see now you've got the gray with the teal on it as well. So you can do something like that. Um, or you could make this into like a, um, a note. Um, frame instead now because we've already got this shape let me just duplicate this page so we've got the shape already so instead of we could just do a new shape and fill the inside but i'll show you another way as well so let's just come back to shape and we're just going to click the square and i'm going to just follow this i'm just going to make it so it's just into the frame like this and then you do um, let's just pick a lighter color Okay, so let's just pick the light gray here. Okay, so now we've got this and we don't want the black outline. So I'm just going to make the outline the same color as the, I'll make it this, doesn't really matter for that one. Okay, but now what we want to do is I want to put this behind that frame, okay? So what we just do is click send backwards. So send 
uh, backwards and now you can see it's behind the frame and now you could use this as a noteboard. Um, you could even put like a chalk effect in this, like a blackboard chalk effect to make it look like a blackboard. Um, and so this way now we've got an actual note on here. And then if you want to keep this together so that you could duplicate it, just highlight everything and up to shape format and then you go to group and group it. So now we can move this, the two elements as one and we don't get anything lost or left behind on the page. So that's one thing that you could do on uh, that one here. And then let's take this, let's just duplicate this one again. And then what I'll often do is don't just delete in the elements, I'll just come and hide them for now. Um, and then if you click on it, I'll show you which one it is here. So let's just hide everything for here, because if I want to put it back on, on another slide, it's there. I don't have to copy and paste. So what we'll do now is um, I'm just going to let's do no, I want to copy. Okay. Click on this and let's, let's just copy it and paste it. So we're going to make oops a page of frames and we're just going to align them up like this, maybe a little like that. And again, paste it here. And you can just line it up in the middle. That. So we could do three. Uh, let's do, okay, let's do three on that page and let's just duplicate it. So we could then what we could do is, um, yeah, I'm just going to move them over for a minute. I'm going to just paste that one last time. And so now we could play with this image. So we could um, bring them to the front. Oops, on the front here. So we could bring them to the front. So now they're in front of there. So you could just have them uh, something like this on the page. We could put them in the middle of the page. Um, and again, if you like those lines that we had up here, this was a nice effect here. We could just copy it and bring that down here, paste it, and just kind of put that there, put it right on the line so it's in the middle. And then let's just copy and paste it again and put that here. So you could do something like that. So now we've got like a page of photo frames. Um, another idea, you could just make them smaller and maybe put them onto each little um, corner as a um, a little design on there too. So that's that page there. This page here, again, we can change the background uh, and it's just all about design. Go to format background and then decide what color you wanted. So you could do, if you wanted to keep it the aqua, um, or we could just come in and use some of PowerPoint's features. So we could just say we want a pattern. I would use a darker pattern. Um, and then you could go with the transparency on here just to make it last. So you could do something like that. It gives it a different look from the original and you can change the colors again. Maybe we want that darker background. So we need to make it uh, stand out a little bit more. Um, let's see what else we could do here. What's there? Uh, you could change, you know, change the look. I think the white is too white. You need a darker one. Yeah, I like the one that we had there. That's that's nicer in here. And again, if you want to apply it at all, it's just a one click thing, but I, I would just have it as the one page for now. And then we could duplicate the slide. Um, other effects that you can do, like PowerPoint does have some of their own effects on here as well picture, texture, yeah. then they have the different textures. So maybe you could do wooden backgrounds, you know, and again, it's just ideas and then you can play with the transparency just to give you, you know, how to quickly make your printable look a little different or give different versions out. Um, again, there's different ones here. And of course you can upload your own, kind of like the wooden one. This one might work as well It's a little lighter. That's maybe a little bit too light. 
but you can play with all of these different effects. You may even just want to go with purple. That's quite nice there too. So you could make everything purple. And again, you would just click apply all to make them go to all the different slides. And you know, that gives you a different look as well. And then of course you could come up here, change the text on here, um, add more lines if you want to. We just copy and paste to do that. And then we've got this page here, the same thing. We've got the effect in here. And again, just go to the selection pane to see how we put this together. You've got the lines on it, that's the image, and then the text box at the top. Now, if you want to come in here and change all of the fonts, what you can do is, um, let's find the font. So we've got a, gotta find it for you. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. okay, so here it is under home and you want to go to replace. You highlight the text in here and then if you come to replace and you wanna replace fonts, and you're going to replace, um, this is the current font, and then you could just select whichever font that you wanted to replace it with. Now, what this does, it does replace all the fonts, but it does not take into account headings or anything like that. So um, if you replace everything, like this one that's in all capitals, it's gonna just go into um, single, uh, format so you have to just keep that in mind um, when you replace it as well so you can just replace all the fonts and then go back and just capitalize the ones that you want to have capitalized so that's a quick way to um, just replace all the font with a different one so i just wanted to show you that as well and let's just duplicate this one again and we go back to just having the, uh, the plain backgrounds um, because yeah, you, you know, often I just come and click through things. You might just find something that all of a sudden you like. Let's go back to the solid fill. And then another way um, you can add, bring in your own pictures as well. And then once you do that, so let's just click on here to show you. So this is a picture that we have um, brought into the template. But if we click on picture format at the top, you'll see here there's different colors. So you can actually change the color tone on here. Now, these colors here are dependent on what design colors that you have chosen in the element. So to get different colors in here, say you wanted more pinks and purples, then you would need to change the uh, design. So you come to design here and you would just go to the colors and then just pick, um, say we wanted more of the pinks and purples. So you would do that first then come back to picture format, color, and now you'll see you've got the different color variations. So again, that's a different way as well just to change the look of the graphic. But what else is nice here is we can use the artistic effects and it kind of just gives like a little bit of a different look. Um, so you can have crisscross. So you can play with these two to get some, some look nice and some look weird. Uh, I can't remember, I think the film grain one or paint stroke sometimes looks good. You can see this is more blurry. Uh, so it depends what kind of look you want. The paintbrush might give you a little bit of a different look. Sometimes it just takes a little, a little bit to go uh, to show up here. But you can play with that as well. And of course, then you can uh, play with transparency to make things look, um, you know, less. If you want to blur it into the background, so let's just undo that one for a second. So what you could do here is let's just duplicate. Let's, let's just duplicate this one. Okay, let's just uh, let's just hide everything here. I just want to show the background. So we could have the background and then oh, I do want the reform text. There we go, the image. So say we wanted to just put this as a nice um, background. So you make it the size that you want and then we just come to the picture format, transparency. And again, we can make it go right into the background like this. So you could still add content on top and people can still see it. And then again, we can um, change this as well to the fill. We can just change that transparency if we wanted to make the purple lighter as well. So there's some different things that you could do. You could put notes on this. You could, you know, you can make this as uh, 
transparent as you like. And they have the options here, but you could make it, you know, you can pull it yourself as well. If you come into um, the pictures and click on transparency, then you've got the slider. So you can, you know, make it as bright or as light as you want. The same as the background. You know, you might want that to go lighter or we could just pick a different color. So if we pick the solid color, went back to the purple. Let's just pick a lighter. And then you can play with that as well there. And again, just make it a little lighter. And then you could still put lines across the top. People could write on the page. So let's just take a look at what we kind of did for you. So, and you will get a copy of this in the a download and it will be a separate download in the uh, members area. So we started off with three templates and then we've got the 10 and you can do the same effect to this one here. We'll have a fast look at that one. So again, we can just come in here, picture formats, you could change the colors. So, so we want this one. So now you've got the picture of a different color and you could change this to match up here. The same thing here, pick the same color and you've got the shadows and everything as well. And then of course you can change the text in here, make duplicate cards, um, make it, you know, you can even use this for something else. It doesn't have to be grandparents day, just change the text in there. And then you can um, I don't watch it or go find an SVG and put another saying in here. So you could use this template for all kinds of different cards, not just for this um, this one too. And that's one thing to remember with all these templates is you don't have to keep them the same. You can like together, you could just take one element and put it into a different journal or planner or printable. So you may like the little notebook style here. You could, you know, just change all of this and just turn this into some stationary um, for something totally different. You don't have to keep it in the pack. So anyway, I do hope that this has helped you with some ideas for this pack. And if you have any questions, uh, there's an email in the members area and there's also a help desk. Just put in a ticket if you get stuck with something. And um, any any time, feel free to reply to any of my emails to ask questions or even give me suggestions on things that you would like to see in the store. So again, this is Sue from Grateful Journals. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.